What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and I'm out here with Adam from URC. We're in my own personal home, and I am giving my wife the gift of a lifetime. Simplicity. I put all this technology into the house, and she's like, thanks a lot. <laughs> it's a nightmare. She so just wants it to work. She just wants it to work. Yep. So the guys are out here showing me the best of the best that URC has to offer. You guys absolutely have dominated the industry over, how long has it been now? Over 40 years. Over 40 years. They created the first universal remote control. And you guys have industry leading uh, support. Yeah, definitely. So when you have a URC system put into your home by one of our certified dealers, one of the coolest things that I think we give our integrators is the best in class tech support in the industry. Well, and you don't feel it. You guys have been awarded yeah. as the best in yeah. the industry. We've we've won the uh, tech support tech support of the year. I think going on it's either eleven or twelve years in a row. <laughs> That's impressive because that really is the most important aspect of these control systems is having somebody that you trust that you can call up and say, I need to make this crazy little change, or is this possible? Can it do it? So. Today, guys, we're gonna be diving into comparing all of their processors, the controllers, what does the heavy lifting of actually the automation uh, for your home. So today we're gonna be talking about the MRX-5, the MRX-12, the MRX-15, and the 30, and what makes them different. So um, to begin, easiest to do is we'll start with uh, small to our flagship. In my opinion, I don't believe one is better than the other, but each one rather serves the best in class for its purpose. If you um, have a small um, area that you wanna control, maybe a single room, up to four rooms, an apartment, a solution where you wanna tie in all the cool tech around your home, but you don't need a huge, you know, 10,000 square foot house, our goal isn't to oversell you a bunch of what you don't like need. Our average home theater customer. Yeah, that's our home MRX-5. It's a small, compact processor, sits on the network. It offers all the IR capabilities that we're used to with sensors and old product, maybe a VCR, something they want to control. But let's say they want to tie in their ring cameras, their shades, or their thermostat. Lighting. I digress, lighting, all these things. This gives them the ability to do that right out of the box. That's incredible. What's the next step on? So as we go from unit to unit, the number one things that are going to increase right out of the gate is horsepower. Each processor as you go from the 5 to the 12 to the 15 and then our flagship which is the 30 the power and memory doubles from the previous unit so the amount of memory the amount of capabilities the thinking power grows substantially why that's important urc is a i like to say it's a two-part system it's control and automation control is what we've always known Every remote you've ever had in your life, you pick it up, point it at a product, you press a button and you control that product. URC, one thing that makes it so special is our ability to listen to the home. If you go onto your Echo B app on your iPhone and make a change, it reflects in our system. If you open up your garage door and you have a Genie Aladdin kit, URC knows the status of the garage door. Um, the shades, everything, we can listen to the home and adjust the lifestyle experience accordingly. We have customers that can control their entire home. They can be a, a remote junkie and just they love being in control. And we have clients that operate their entire home and they never touch a remote. They just go around the home certain times of the day. They open the garage certain uh, time of the weekend and certain things happen around the house because it's all automated in those processes. So depending on how much of that you want in your home, there's gonna be a memory demand and an expectation. A really cool tool that our dealers have when they're designing systems for you is we have a processor calculator on our portal. Oh, nice. So when they walk your home and you talk about, I want this and that, I want this room to do this, and when I jump, I want that to happen. All those things add up and they can take all those variables, apply it into our website, and we will give them the most recommended processor based on not just what will work, but will give you the best end user experience. Because if you exceed the capabilities of the five, it will work, but you will notice that the instant gratification is gonna slow down a little oh. bit. You press a button and it might be a second or two slower. Exactly, so there's a time and place. On where, smaller systems. Exactly, okay. so having the right processor is key. Let's get you what you need for today, but always plan for tomorrow. This is a Pandora's box 
product. A lot of people don't really even know what they want until they start playing with this a few yeah. weeks in. Their creativity light bulbs are going off and dealers just get call after call. Can we add this? Can we add this? I want to do this in this room. And the last thing you want to do is have a processor that's on day one and then three months later they need a, the next one up. So I always tell people, you know, plan for today, leave a little growing room for tomorrow because these processors, the way they go in, the dependability of them, they can last a significant amount of time. Uh, Adam in our introduction video talked about how URC is used on Air Force One <laughs> and uh, they've had the same system in there for 15 years. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's what I like. It's, to it's a cool brag. They, people know of it as the football remote. It's our old MX3000 um, complete control remote. But the team that manages those planes bought up a significant inventory. Ah. And basically they just, that's what they use because it's a closed system. It's off the network, off the grid. It can be completely isolated and it's I just, see. it's a cool brag that yeah. we can say our product. Well, is and that's like music to my ears because that's what we want. Our happy customers where the systems are reliable. They don't want to be rolling the truck all the time. Exactly. Is there anything that we need to know about the MRX 30, the MRX 15 that is substantially different from the MRX 12. Well, one right out of the gate is the um, quantity of connectivity. If I have a four zone house, like that's a pretty typical setup. Like the, the patio, kitchen, primary bed and primary bath, and dining, I would say probably more like, yeah, four, four rooms. What's a, a, the solution here? Typically what I would do with a four room system at minimum would be start with the MRX 12. The MRX-5 is a one to four room system, but remember that memory thing we talked about. I would say this can do a very powerful one to two rooms with a lot of that listening zero lag, automation. Super fast. Exactly. Okay. But when you're talking four rooms to start and the amount that people grow on average after the initial integration, the 12 is gonna offer a significantly larger ceiling of performance without ever running into any bottleneck issues or speed or performance um, caps. And then what's the power difference between the 12, the 15, and the 30? Basically, it just doubles from one to oh, the next. So, okay. the, so the 12 is twice as powerful as the five, the 15 is twice the power of the 12, and the 30 is really realistically more power than pretty much any project could ever need. <laughs> The amount that- I'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have yet to see a 30, even in the field and some of the largest projects I can comprehend even reach 20, 25% memory. Wow. Where they're literally doing to the T, I mean, the absolute cap of performance. This is a very, very powerful process. Um, well, guys, we're going to be doing unboxing videos of these, uh, checking them out, taking a deep dive into setting it up on an iPad, setting it up on all of these individual in wall controllers, handheld controllers. I really like how they still have some tactile like buttons. A lot of our control companies are going like all just touch screen. And I want to go into that for a second. One thing that we're really big about at URC is we use a phrase called hand feel. When you're watching TV or you're in a theater and it's a dark room, the last thing you want to do is pick up a remote and not be able to feel yeah. where the volume button is, where things are. I am a huge fan of the 1480. It's what I use in my home. I basically keep one in my pocket as I go from room to room. And I can control about 90% of my house without even looking at my remote. So when the lights are off and I'm laying in bed and I'm watching TV, the remote is sitting here next to my hip and I can do every single thing I need to do and I never have to look at it. There is a beauty in having a remote with those tactile, physical, and again, we've been making these remotes longer than anyone else. It's a confident statement. Um, our owner and founder created the universe remote control, and we've even built remotes for many manufacturers that a lot of people don't even know. Um, huge TV companies, different providers, when they were kind of getting up and running, we were still building remotes for them. So even people are like, I've never had URC in my house. And I'm like, odds are you have. There's a remote in a drawer that we built and manufactured and sold to that company that then provided that remote for you. A lot of people don't know that, but um, we've been making remotes for a really long time. Very cool. Well, I can't wait to open these puppies up. We're gonna be installing them here in my home and doing literally everything top to bottom. I mean, I'm even wanting to check out the Apple Vision Control. Apparently you can 
do cool things like the voice control, Apple Vision. So we're gonna see what you can do with the control system here in 2024. And I got a lot of cool things like lighting control, automated shades, I mean, all the bells and whistles. So we're gonna have a good time out here. So mash that subscribe button down below, guys. And give us a big thumbs up. Drop comments down below. Let me know what you would like to see. This is gonna live in my home. So I wanna hear what you guys wanna see and give you what you want. All right, well, that's all we got for you. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media out here with Adam from URC. Thanks for watching, guys.